Konnichiwa lads, it's St. Drive here. So today I'm going to be doing a Byzantium start guide, so I'm going to give you the opening move set. Now if you know a budget monk, the strategy is quite similar if not exactly the same aside from some strategic differences with regards to which forces we're going to kill. So to give you a little bit of background history on Byzantium at this point, Byzantium has recently suffered from some very severe civil wars. A brief expansion of the Serbian Tsardom resulted in the loss of all Hernic lands and then the Serbs then having their own set of civil wars managed to lose all of this land to a power vacuum which the Ottomans quite happily filled. In response to this Hungary sent a crusade and it was a massive failure. The White Knight of Hungary not really living up to the name. So Byzantium is now isolated both militarily politically and also religiously at this point because this is the process of conversion. The Ottomans are consolidating their control. So let's get into the actual guide and let's move on from the history lesson. Now as I said this guide will be slightly different from Budget Monk's one but you should go and check that one out. Obviously it's not relevant for the current patch and I found that they tend to form 30k doom stacks which is a massive pain in the arse. So we're going to play it a little bit different but let's go through the opening first. So here we go, let's hop in. Iron Man. Run through this quite a few times. This is the fifth time now, so it's not going to work every time. So let me just point out, diplomatically, if the Ottomans form an alliance, restart straight away. Okay, so here we go. Looking at our dilapidated Roman Empire. Gonna rival Serbia, because fuck them. Bastards are the reason we're in this place. Okay, so we destroyed the castle in Morea, we upped development in Akia, and then we gave the land to the Burgers. Okay, so from the Burgers, we're going to grant an admiralship, see if we get a good admiral. We're going to ask for money, so why not? Demand diplomatic support, so why not? And grant monopoly charters, so why not? The ability are going to call a diet, we're going to look for a good general. We're also going to demand military support, so we can roll through generals if we have to, we don't always get a good roll. With regards to a general, we're looking for high siege and high maneuverability. So one siege pip and four maneuverability is not bad for Constantinians. We don't need Giustani, the I believe he's Genoese mercenary. Do I get a better one though? No, that's a waste of military power points, but whatever, let's get rid of him. So we're gonna use our great great emperor to smash them kebab. Like it's Saturday night after a piss up. Okay. So discipline is useful, obviously morale or recovery would be better, but it's, a, it's fine for now. Really, inflation reduction, I don't really need that, but a lot of loans. Okay, so we're going to proclaim a guarantee for Albania. We're going to build a spy network against the Ottomans, and we're going to improve relations with the Mamluks, so they give us money, hopefully, as a subsidy for our war against Kebab. We're going to take about seven or eight loans. You can take at least 20 loans, though, as Byzantium, after this first war. So you're going to get the Ottomans to pay you back for their own transgressions against you. We're going to move our army into Athens. We're going to reduce army maintenance. And then we're going to go until we have about 3k manpower in reserve. We really do not want a long war, we want to front load this war, so it doesn't matter if we don't have any recovery, really, we're going to consolidate afterwards. We're going to put 1k in Constantinople in preparation for taking the other side of the Mamara Straits. And the reason why we've reduced army maintenance is to mothball the enemy forts, as is the same in any of the other guys you've seen. Ottomans have no allies, so that's positive. Crimea is a big no-no. I always get big boy dicked whenever Crimea smash into this war, so. And then 12th of December, we can, why am I not doing it? There you go. So we can improve relationship with Albania. Obviously this audio is recorded afterwards, guys. I am not that good a player and it took five attempts. Do not want to keep repeating myself five fucking times. So we're looking for an alliance, 25 out of 30. As soon as it's ready to accept, you accept. In April, you put your army maintenance up in preparation. Not all the way. We want to keep those forts mothball. Are we ready, Albania? Are we fuck? Come on, Alexander. 
the greatest general in the Balkans in this time period, greater than Mehmet II, even after his famous defeat of Constantinople. Obviously at this point, Mehmet is still on the throne, and he's 12. But his father kicks him off the throne at this point because he's obsessed with taking Constantinople. So, we're going to beat him to the punch. I'm sure his advisor, Grand Vizier Ali Pasha, is not happy. There you go, we have the alliance, boys and girls. And this is the point, really, where you want to save the game. If you're not doing Iron Man, you'll save Scum if you are so inclined. Okay, here we go, boys. So it's the war. So the goal here is to specifically split the 14k and the 16k stack in Europe and stack wipe them individually and not let a 30k doom stack just mothball somewhere. We don't want to deal with that. We're going to block the Sea of Mamara and allow allies to attach to our fleet and army. And hopefully that should be enough. Hopefully that should be enough to win if Xander actually joins. So, the Coachelli Fort has been mothballed, so that 1k stack is going to take it. They're going to send all 30k towards Constantinople. Usually when they do that for me, as of this patch, I get stack wiped, even with Xander Bay. So we're not going to fuck around. We're going to do what Napoleon has always said, which is destroy the armies, then take cities. Not the other way around. So, I'm going to give ourselves a little bit more. Maneuverability over here with more troops to siege and take as much war score as possible. Here comes that fat 16k stack. Xander Bay is joining us and... Ah, uh, it's too fucking early. And then this is a waste of time. So I'm just going to go straight for that siege. Ideally catch them. I didn't catch them. So let's just go for the Selenic siege. So th there are two key goals here, a Selenic and a Dern, or I don't know if you agree. Or Thessalonica, I don't know if you agree. It's to take these two and then stack white those two armies. I don't like the 30k guys, I'm sorry, but I can't do it. So for me this is more consistent, although this is my sixth attempt. Definitely not a son of Hannibal. Uh, no. Fuck off, Caraman, you will be next. Okay, so Constantinople's holding out, even without the defensiveness edict, which is great. You have the DLC for that, use it. If you don't, you don't need it. Come on. Hellas Megala, boys and girls. Hellas Megala. Let's have some irredeemism for our... Wonderfully dilapidated purple empire. So look, we're just stacking for war score right now. Anatolia is just a case of let's build up war score. The majority of Ottoman forces are fucking about. It. Well, they're fucking about in Greece. Obviously, the Ottoman generals are not really that good. So that one siege pit we've got in Selenik on our Basilius is a massive difference. That Constantinople stack is doing nothing. Athens has been breached, but it's luckily slower. Obviously, if they merge together, the Ottoman armies, you're going to have a massive problem. So, luckily though, they've settled on just the siege for this, for this time being. But our war score is stacking and our fleet is blocking the Sea of Mamara, so we don't have to worry about any reinforcements. And we beat the Ottomans to the punch by denying them any alliances. There we go. So let's go punish the audacity of Kebab. And we absolutely stack wipe them. So that's a quality punishment, boys and girls. Well, mostly boys. There's no girls watching my videos. So I hope there isn't. Jesus Christ. Okay, there you go. Second. Did we get the stack wide? Come on, Alexander. Come on, lad. And uh, no stack wide, but we did smash some kebab. So this is a quality, quality Saturday night session, boys and girls. 3 a.m. kebab. Okay, so we're going to take Adrianople, and whilst we're taking Adrianople, we are going to 
just generate as much war score as possible. The Ottomans probably cannot believe what is happening. I'm sure Mehmet and his father Murat would actually have a stroke at this point. Considering they just smashed Hungary, for God's sake. Some cheeky Peloponnesian nobles and... Oh, fuck off, Dukas. And some successes to the Roman Empire. I'm not really, not really in the position they should have been to do this, so... But hey, it's E4, boys. We get to reroll until the end of time. There we go. Let's keep going. That Ottoman stack. Oh, so I've just suffered a little bit in Anatolia. So, for me, I really want the European cause back. I want Uskop to invade Serbia, which is currently being attacked by Venice, which is not very useful. You can actually smash this war and take all of your cores back and even take some land bordering Mamluks. But, I'm sorry guys, I'm, <laughs> I'm not that talented. At least not the micro bit, and this is on free speed, so... You have to forgive me, I'm getting old. I'm definitely getting too old for this shit. Alright, brilliant. Come on, return that sweet, sweet Hellenic homeland to me. Honestly, Xander makes or breaks this. So this is 1.295. If Xander is changed at all in the next patch, this probably won't work. But I do fundamentally believe that you do not need... Oh god, I'm sorry, Athens wasn't paying attention. I do fundamentally believe that you do not need Poland or Hungary to help you win this. And historically, they definitely would not have been in a position to help you, so... To be honest, I don't think Constantine was in a position to completely hemorrhage all of his money on a 50-50 battle in... You know, in Hellas, but whatever. Personally loved Byzantium, so... Makes me very happy to resurrect them every single game. There we go, Adrianople has fallen after these Ottoman mercenaries took it initially in the first place. Sweet, sweet justice. I do suggest you read up about the fall of Adrianople. Not exactly the most wonderful example of honour and military courage in Turkish or Byzantine, uh, Byzantine history. Okay, so here we go, let's go for the stack wipe. Just trying to stack that war score up. Stack wide. No stack wide. Okay. But there you go. So obviously you want to get your money back. And take as much money as you can. You want the money back though to pay off your massive, massive debt. Not too dissimilar from modern Greece actually. But I don't hope, I really don't hope they don't invade Bulgaria. Is there a response to that? Not that they would. Very good, so now nice. So just take as much gold as you can, guys. You really want to stick it to them. You know, that covers my debt, so I'm quite happy with that. And this is it, guys. Generally, the point is to take as much as you can without triggering war exhaustion. Okay, so I can take pretty much what I want. I'm, <laughs> I'm considering taking Bulgaria as well, but that's a little bit too greedy, I think. Obviously, guys, if you're in this position, go to your feel good. I'm concerned, though, because I actually do not want Venice to take the whole of the Northwestern Balkans. Okay, there you go. And that's it guys, so that's the end 
of the Ottoman occupation of Greece. So I hope you found it useful. I know it was very high paced, but I hope you can follow along and just pause the video as you go along with it. If this changes in the next patch, I will remake another playthrough, although I probably will kill myself in the process, but that's fine. And that's it. As ever guys, if you found this useful, let me know in the comments below. Consider giving it a like. Hit subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll catch you later. Throw our lads.